you don't want to be pregnant on a ship with someone that you have known for a week. Hey sailors, welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy and today's video is for all my ladies because we're gonna be talking about pregnancy, contraception, period stuff, all of that good stuff that no one talks about when it comes to cruise ships. So guys, I'm very sorry, this video probably isn't for you, but I have linked videos down below that might be more your cup of tea. But if you have any video suggestions or any questions, then please leave them in the comments or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising As Crew or you can visit my website, cruisingascrew.com, and send me an email. But as for now, let's get into it. So, periods. We all have them. And you're going to work on a cruise ship, so does that mean you have to take nine months worth of sanitary towels? No, it doesn't. There is a shop on board, and they will sell everything you need when it comes to your period needs. However, they will be more expensive if you're buying them from the shop. On board and if you don't have deck privileges which means that you're only allowed to go to the shops for example at certain times so you are definitely going to want to prepare you know pre-prepare have stuff in your cupboard in your cabin for when that time of the month does come because as we all know there's nothing worse than being caught off guard and not having anything you need so you can buy the stuff on board but it is more expensive I tend to buy stuff like import when I go shopping and because you can just find exactly what you need you might prefer a particular brand in which case yeah take it with you you know if you only use always for example which is a brand of sanitary products then yes you might want to take you know a few boxes with you and then at least that gives you time to like look around the shops in port to find some more However, if it is an absolute emergency, the medical centre on board will have the basic stuff, but very, very basic stuff. So it is nice if you can buy your own, because as we all know, it's a lot nicer. Okay, so going on from sanitary products, now we'll go on to like period pain. So it's that time of the month, we've got, you know, all the, all the lovely stuff that comes with it. Now, on a cruise ship, you have to work every single day. So it doesn't matter if you're on your period and you have really bad period pain, you really, you know, unless you can't walk, you are going to work. So make sure you take ibuprofen or paracetamol or whatever like painkiller does it for you because you will be having to take them if you suffer with bad period pains. I never, I don't like taking uh, painkillers if I can help it. So I just kind of grin and bear it, but if you know that you do suffer with cramps and stuff, then you are gonna have to prepare. Maybe you wanna take a hot water bottle on board with you so that you can, you know, have it in the cabin. So anything you use at home, take on board with you. You will be able to buy ibuprofen and paracetamol in the shops on board. Also, if you really need it, then you can get it from the medical or, I mean, you can get it from anywhere if you go out and pour, whatever. I always take it with me, even though I try not to take it. Because you know what, if I've got paracetamol and ibuprofen, I might not take it, but you know, my roommate might need some. So it's always good to just take a box of ibuprofen and paracetamol with you. And then if you do need it, if you have a nice surprise, then you need, you've got it. Now we're gonna go on to birth control. So as a woman, you could be on the pill, the injection, the implant, the coil. Like there's so many contraceptive methods or birth control methods and when it comes to working on a cruise ship yes you will need to get a nine month supply a six months supply so for working on cruise ships i think the implant is the best birth control method because it goes in your arm it stays there for three years and you can forget about it um, if you have the pill, that's fine, but you will need to go to your doctor, tell them you're going to work on a cruise ship and get six months, nine months worth of pills. Obviously, you can't have the injection because I think you have to have the injection every three months. You, unless your contract is three months, which it probably won't be, you can't have that. So if you are on the injection, you do need to look at going on a new form of birth control. It can obviously take a while to find one that suits your body. You know, some people have the pill and it does not work at all. Some people have the implant and it's like a big no-no. So before you go on board, you need to sort out a contraception that works for you. So keep going back to your GP, make sure you find one that does work for you before you go on board. And that's, I mean, if you want to use birth control, I'm just saying, obviously you don't have to, but if you are someone that uses birth control, then 
you will need to take a contract's worth of birth control with you. Going on from birth control, now we're going to go on to contraception. So, condoms. If you are on birth control, you still need to use a condom. And I know this is not a sex education channel, and I know I sound like your mom, but use a condom. So, condoms are sold in the shops. Obviously, you can get them on land. And also, the cruise line is obviously going to encourage you to use condoms. So, in every medical center, there are, like, free condoms available, basically. Now, obviously, you are going to be on board for a period of time. You're probably going to find someone you fancy. Maybe you're going to get into a relationship. Maybe you're going to sleep with them once. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy. But you need to use a condom. Now you need to use a condom anyway in normal life, but especially on cruise ships. The thing is with these guys, and I'm not I'm not just saying this about guys, but I'm assuming it's just girls watching this, so I'm aiming this video at girls. These guys, they go from ship to ship to ship bedding different women. And that's fine, that is their prerogative, they are allowed to do that, but you don't know what they've got to give you if you don't use a condom, if you know what I'm saying. So, you know, and you will hear this when you go on board, like beware of the officers, beware of the contractors. And that is because their contracts are like two to four months long and then they go on a different ship and then a different ship, a different ship. And on every one of these ships, they've probably got one or two girlfriends. And obviously it's wrong of me to tar everyone with the same brush. I'm sure there are officers and contractors out there who don't sleep with anyone, but it's not many. So look after yourself and make sure you make them wear a condom. And if they don't want to wear a condom, then you don't have to have sex with them, okay? Because if you get an STI, you're on a boat. They, d they don't have STI medication on a boat. So yeah, I'm sorry to be a bit vulgar, but just have the confidence to say, put one on. Because you do not want an STI. And above an STI, you do not want to be pregnant. So if you go on a ship and you are not using birth control, then you definitely should be using a condom. But if you also don't use a condom, then yeah, you could end up pregnant. And once again, you don't want to be pregnant on a ship with someone that you have known for a week, probably, or a month. It really isn't an idyllic situation to be pregnant while working on a cruise ship. But no judgment, like it happens, it does happen. So what happens if you find yourself pregnant on a cruise ship? you will be sent home. It's as simple as that. Like, whatever you decide, whether you decide to have the baby or abort the baby, you will be sent home. Obviously, you are gonna have to tell the medical center and they will medically disembark you. So you won't be fired or anything like that, but you will be sent home for your own health. You work incredibly long hours when you're on a cruise ship, as I've said. So to be pregnant and to be on your feet and working all those hours, like it's, you can't do it. It's not, it, it's not good. So yeah, if you find yourself pregnant, you will be going home. You will be able to come to cruise ships later on because as I said, you're, you're not gonna be fired. You will just be medically disembarked, but it's obviously just, uh, not an ideal situation and the thing with pregnancy is the guys don't really have to do any like their life doesn't change I get it it's so easy in the moment to just be like don't worry about the condom it's fine but um for that like 10 seconds that it would have taken your life could potentially be turned upside down and their life is going to stay the same they're not going to be medically disembarked they're gonna finish their contract. You know, you're the one that is going to be pregnant. You're the one that is going to be sent home. And um, you're the one that's gonna to have to deal with the consequences. The, the guy isn't. So I really urge you to like look after yourself when it comes to that. Don't risk getting pregnant with someone that you have known for a month on a cruise ship. It's a dreamland. You don't know them as well as you think you do. and you definitely don't know with their dad material. I think, like I said in my last video, I knew a couple that had been together five years, but they had been together just on ships for five years. They went home to like start a life on land and they broke up because 
like I said, people are multidimensional and on cruise ships you tend to see a different side of their personality. So when the couple got home, they were like, who are you? Like, I've been with you for five years, but I've never seen this side of you. It's because people are completely different on cruise ships. So no pregnancies on ships, please, because you will be sent home and it's just, it's just not a nice situation. It's just really not a nice situation when it's something that can easily be avoided with birth control or a condom. So I know that video was a little bit of a lecture, but I really hope you found it helpful and you found it informative. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, and if you have any more questions about this topic or any other topic, I would be happy to answer them and you can leave them in the comments or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye!